Hey, so I wanted to share a little story that happened to me this morning that created a lot of awareness, brought up a lot of old judgments, and just helped me to get clear on where I'm functioning from. It's funny because yesterday I asked, what else is possible for day two? What other healing or awareness would come up? And boom, it happened. So I head out for day two to go to my rental car. And I'm trying to put, you know, it's one where you actually still have to stick the key in. And I was trying to stick the key in and it was not working. And you know how sometimes the wheel gets stuck and you gotta move the wheel a little bit and then it'll go in and then, you know, all that business. So whatever, it was just not happening. Do I need to flip the key? What's going on here? So after a couple like, let me try it again and let me try it this way. And let me try it back again this way. And whew, okay, what else is possible here? Car, what would it take to get there with total ease, right? Right now I have plenty of time, but if this keeps going on, I'm gonna be late. And I know I have lots of points of view and judgments about being late and whatever that means. So I keep trying to redo it. I'm looking, what else is possible? Who could be a contribution here? I'm looking around, should I ask somebody for help? Because you know, I'm not wrong. This car should work and this key should work. Not helpful questions. However, I was attempting to go into the other questions I was saying, what else is possible? Who could be a contribution? What could I choose? What would it take to get there with total ease? Kind of hoping that the car would then rearrange its molecules and all of a sudden the key would work, right? Because for me and my point of view from where I was focusing on it was something's wrong with the car. I'm not wrong. Something's wrong with the car. So I go downstairs and back inside and ask, hey, you know, could someone help me out and ask one of the valet gentlemen who so kindly walked up with me? Sure, yeah, you know, let's see what can happen. I'm like, what else is possible? What would it take? And so I hand him my keys and he's looking at the keys and he opens up the rental key. He's like, this key, right? Big hand on forehead moment. I was using my personal car key, not the rental car key. They look really similar. And so of course he sticks it in immediately and it works. Thank you so much. He goes on and I get in the car and I am flooded with judgments. Judgments, shame, like I should have known better. How dumb could I be? And the fact that I was so focused on I'm not wrong. I was in defense and resistance of being wrong. Like it couldn't possibly be me, right? So I was like from that defended energy that it blocked my awareness of what else was possible, what was actually happening, right? Because I didn't take a second to look at the keys and what was happening and recognize that I was using the wrong key. It wasn't the car, it wasn't anything else, it was me but I was in defense, I'm not wrong, right? And so I realized, wow, I'm really still functioning from a defended judgmental place. Now, you know, we're human and we're always working through these things. And this situation just gave it to me at this whole other level that I didn't even realize that I was just still functioning from a defended place with barriers up, I'm not wrong. and. I really sought to, you know, talk myself through it. Like, hey, it's okay. Emailed, you know, people ahead of time. I think I'm gonna be like five minutes late. But I was going into some insane judgments about being tardy and being late. And whatever, wherever that all came from. And yet I knew because this class was a smaller intimate class, it's pretty uh, casual in the sense of, you know, there's body work being done. It's not for any class, it's a perfect class to be late for. And I was like, it's okay. Just whew, take a deep breath. What is, what is right about being late? What is it protecting me from, right? What do I not know that the universe orchestrated for me to A, gain awareness, B, maybe protect me from some potential car accident or something like that? What's right about it? But I was so focused on the wrongness that as I was trying to get to class and follow navigation, I 
my brain works slower with directional things. Um, and so I rely pretty heavily on um, directions for a while till I learn a place. And I just kept making all these wrong turns because I was so distracted, distracted with the judgments and not totally present. And so I was very aware that this was happening and was just focusing to take my time. It's okay, none of it's not worth it. Just drive safely, right? But every time I made a wrong turn, it added more time. And then I was more late and more late and more late. So I ended up being like 15, 20 minutes late, whatever. And finally got there and what a perfect place to kind of process this and just get clarity on really that defended point of view. Because the thing is, if I was willing to be wrong in that moment, which, which I wasn't, if I was willing to be wrong, I would have looked at what I was choosing that was wrong or incorrect, so to speak. And like looked at the keys and be like, oh, I'm using the wrong key. But I was in such unconscious defense of that, that that wasn't a possibility. So it was not in my awareness, it was the car. So it gave me a lot of awareness and I share this because perhaps it will contribute in some way um, and to just know that I am still learning and growing just along with you.